There is a lot to consider when putting together a winter forecast. Will it be sunny and mild or will it be never ending snowstorms? 41 Action News meteorologist Lindsay Anderson starts off our team coverage on how the temperature in the Pacific Ocean plays a crucial role in our winter forecast. El Nino versus La Nina. You hear us talk about both when it deals with the Pacific waters, but each phase can have a big impact in what kind of winter we will see in Kansas City. The Pacific waters have a tendency to run either warmer or cooler than average every two to seven years. An El Nino phase indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures, and a La Nina is opposite with cooler than normal ocean temperatures. And according to NOAA, we're now in a La Nina, and it's predicted to get even stronger through the winter, saying, quote, there's an 85% chance these conditions will last through the northern hemisphere winter and 60% chance it lasts into the spring of 2021. To understand how this impacts Kansas City, we have to look at what is happening in the Pacific Ocean right now. Look at this map shows the current temperatures of the ocean in the Pacific. The cold pool indicated by the blue shade continues to expand westward from South America. The warmer water then in red is pushed closer to Indonesia and creates a very wet season there. In turn, this leaves sinking air closer to South America and strengthens the easterly wind along the equator. Next, we have high pressure that then develops over the northern Pacific Ocean, just south of Alaska, creates a blocking pattern and a strong ridge over the ocean. This will then strengthen the polar jet stream and leads to a very active winter in the northwest. Colder than normal temperatures and wetter conditions are expected there as a large cold air mass spills into the northern plains. Now, it's a different scenario for the southern part of the United States. Their winters tend to be dry drier than average due to the lack of a subtropical jet. In years past, strong La Ninas have brought different winter scenarios to Kansas City. The most recent strong La Nina in 2010 to 2011, lingering into 2012, brought way above normal snowfall amounts of 36.9 inches and below normal temperatures. However, before that, the strong La Nina of 98 to 99 and 99 to 2000, both both brought below normal snowfall amounts each year and above average temperatures. So clearly no two La Nina events are alike, but more times than not, a La Nina winter brings the Kansas City region below normal snowfall amounts and temperatures that are average or maybe even a little warmer. Although one big snowstorm could easily skew these numbers. So there's lots to watch here with our winter and a La Nina season, and we're gonna continue to watch as that La Nina strengthens in the Pacific Ocean. Lindsay Anderson, 41 Action News. 